Viewers and subscribers, welcome to Guyanese News, where we talk about news about Guyana and the diaspora. And today we are going to address the serious message that Roger Khan sent to Timo Ahmed and Guyanese critics. And the reason why this message was sent directly to Guyanese critics is because of his recent video. You need to hear this. Then we are going to play a video where the Indian government is exposing the Guyanese government on YouTube. Yes, you need to hear this video and hear how the trillion dollar budget is going to be spending. Yes, you, this is a very important video that every Guyanese need to be aware of. Before we start this video, my fellow Guyanese, if you're new to this YouTube channel and you want breaking and trending Guyanese content, please smash the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section so you will be a part of the discussion. Before we address the warning that Roger can send to Timo Ahmed and Guyanese critics the direct message, we are quickly going to address how the Indian government, the government of India, is exposing the Guyanese government. This is a video that Guyanese News did long time when the government stated that there is going to be a trillion dollar budget. One of the video I did is that this trillion dollar budget is going to be used to buy arms. So check out this video and hear how the Indian government is exposing the Guyanese government. Not really exposing, but this news is not on the media in Guyana. So you need to watch international news. You need to subscribe to Guyanese news for get news from the diaspora. Check it out, then we are going to continue. And after India's elections, another deal is with Guyana. India's Export-Import Bank has given a line of credit to Guyana. It is worth around $23 million. And what will this money be used for? To buy two Indian military planes. The HAL-228 Dornier aircraft, it's ideal for short takeoffs and landings. Apparently, that was a priority for Guyana. These planes will be used for a number of missions to carry out patrols, to resupply military bases and to move soldiers around. But Guyana is not done yet. They're also looking at Indian patrol vehicles and radars. That's two major deals, one in Africa, the other in the Caribbean. And there's Well, that is what really Guyanese money has been spending on buying military arms nothing wrong with the government buying military arms to defend the border because we already have an issue with venezuela but the whole thing is human resource maybe that is one of the reasons why teachers pay and other public servant pay cannot raise and one of the reasons why the guyanese who is not directly involved with the ice sector could get money because as we see the government can take the money and buy arms to defend the country and that is one of the reasons why they build all of those long roads because as you heard what the newscaster said the plane them is to take off on short runway that is why they're building so many roads in case the airport is inactive we have aeroplane that could take off on the road Remember, this is Guyanese News. If you want breaking and trending Guyanese content, smash the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment in the comment section. You can't do me like paper shots. I am not going out like that. That is the message that Roger Khan is sending to Timo Ahmed and Guyana critics allegedly. The reason why this message is going out to Guyana critics is because of his recent video where he tried to implicate Timo Ahmed and tried to bring in Roger Khan name. This is a message that was shared on a Facebook page. But people in the comment section is claiming the page does not belong to Roger Khan. It's someone impersonating Roger Khan and sending out this message. But the message, the serious message, this warning that come out on facebook is that you cannot do me like paper shards i am a different individual we all know who is paper shards who get on a life on main street after coming out of palm court going to take a relief a car roll up and on a life paper shards it's all over Guyana, and that is roger Khan friend and we know who is Roger Khan, the infamous gold smuggler, infamous drug smuggler in Guyana. And according to the news, 
people was trying to get to Roger Khan, but his friend get took out. And the message that Roger Khan is sending out to Team Mohammed and Guyana critics allegedly is that you cannot do me like paper sharks. I am more skillful. You understand? We don't know if this page, this profile is Roger Khan own or is somebody just impersonating Roger Khan using his name, his picture, but that is the message that is circulating on social media right now in Guyana. Remember, this is Guyanese news where we give unbiased, unfiltered Guyanese content. If you want more breaking and trending Guyanese news, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Help this channel go to 100,000 subscribers. Let them know Guyanese could go viral. Thumbs up this video and leave a comment in the comment section concerning the trillion dollar budget where Guyana is going to be spending and buying arms and that is one of the reasons why we have a differences with teachers payment and the money that Guyanese want we are going to use the money and defend the country this is the news is not circulating on the politically affiliated platform like NCN newsroom and all those new you know what i'm speaking about but guyanese news have a duty to give guyanese the content they desire so we are going to play one more bonus content one more bonus video and then we are going to continue to the next topic make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section and the message or Roger can send out Team Ahmed and Guyanese critics. No mistake about it. Ricardo died in my place. Every single one of those bullets were meant for me. All 20 something of those bullets were meant for me. I'm standing here almost speaking to you as from the grave. That night, only God knows how greater of a tragedy was avoided. As Ricardo's niece was in Palm Court with me, Becky was in Palm Court with me, my daughter, many other patrons was in Palm Court. Palm Court was closing, people were exiting. Two men may have jumped out of the car, but we believe there were more inside. Ricardo, there is a verse in the Bible that says, in Hebrews 9.27, it says that it is appointed for men to die once, and after this the judgment. Today, and you have to believe this, if you believe that it was his appointed time. enemies will plan all they want. I'm still standing here today, even though I wish I could replace him today. Ricardo, the outpouring of love in Ricardo's life, Ricardo was not a financially wealthy person, but you have to know who this guy is to understand why everybody is so hurt about this. Ricardo gave love, he gave love, he invested in people. He, didn't, he, he, he couldn't give a big money, but if, if someone, I would, I would call him from prison, I would say, pay hey, well, it's Becky Bard, eh? go to so, 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 and, uh, and see if you could pay me some money. He said, no, 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 no matter no matter, I take care of it. He never, no matter, no matter what, no matter what he was. A lot of things that, that are being said about this, this is not, an incident that we could move on from that easily. This was an attack on everyone that loves Ricardo. I want to share with you and clarify some things that happened that night. We arrived at Palm Court at 8.42. The assassins arrived at 9.42. 
and parked obliquely the attack the driver of the Ford, a vehicle that I drive, and only I drive. They stay there, and 10.01, Ricardo left, and I presumably believe he left to bring the car around to put it in front of the Concorde. That's what he always does. That's what he always does. When he approached that vehicle and put that light on, they were alerted that the driver is coming. And he was mowed down in a hail of bullets, no doubt, at least 40 rounds were fired, 25 at least hit his body. Ladies and gentlemen, that car stayed there for 20 minutes, a, a stolen car, stolen plates, and with at least two gunmen inside the high-powered caliber weapons. Shortly after they parked, a police patrol drove by, and they were not phased. They didn't leave that patrol car, stopped in front of the vehicle next to them. I'm telling you all this because of, because of evidence that are revealed in the public. They were unfazed, they waited for 20 minutes and they sh shot him at 10.01. Then they drove for 30 minutes at 10.29 they turned off the East Bank Junction. I'm going to say that again. They drove from Palm Court for 29 minutes, for 30 minutes, from 10.01, 10.28, 28 minutes. They drove from East from Palm Court all the way to the most populous and busy highway in Guyana, unencumbered by a single police patrol, even though, even though at the scene police were there harassing witnesses in minutes. And there was one state security vehicle that arrived there in seconds.